Hello guys. Uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to port over a follower to PS4. And it took me a little bit to figure this out. There's not a lot of documentation on it, so I thought I'd do a short video just to explain what I did to make it work. I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. I don't know if there's any other way of doing it. Uh, nothing that I could find. There's very little documentation. Um, so here we go. W you probably remember from my previous tutorials on creating a simple follower that I created Samantha here. And that's who we're going to port over to PS4. So let's get started. I have a heavily modded game, so uh, loading the game is going to take us just a minute. I've also got an AMB installed, which slows the process just slightly. Let's load Samantha in the creation kit. And this is the PC version of Samantha that we are loading. Let's go to Samantha. And I don't have the BSA loaded in uh, CK, so you're gonna, it's not going to show up. And that's okay, because we have to get rid of her hair, textures, all of this stuff that's not actually in the ESP. It's located in a BSA which cannot be, to my knowledge, loaded in on a PS4. It just won't upload. So let's open the game folder and we'll go to Samantha. There she is. And we're just going to delete that BSA. It's gone. There is no more supporting hair files or anything else for Samantha. That'll take out all your scripts, your textures, your meshes, all your custom resources supporting that ESP have to be gone. They won't upload for PS4. So, we can't have her show up on a PS4 with no hair. So we're just going to delete this since we no longer have it. We no longer have this. We no longer have this in the BSA. So we're just going to delete everything that requires supporting files that are not located in the base game. Now everything else here is part of the ESP, but when we delete the BSA, we also deleted Samantha's face gen data. So when you upload her to PS4, she's not going to have a face. So what do we do? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what I've decided to do is I found a small part character in the game named Nilsine Shattershield. She plays a small role. She's in Windhelm. You don't really see much of her. You talk to her a couple times. It's basically about it. Very small part. So, why is that important? Well, let's go to Nilsine. Now, if we use traits, 
This is now Samantha's face. That's it. Her stats, factions, relationships, keywords, data, AI packages, everything else remains the same. Her spell list, everything remains the same except her face. And since we have no face gen data to upload, we have to find a face. We're going to use Nilsine's face. Let's save that, close this, and let's go in game and see what Samantha looks like with no BSA, no hair, no face gen data, no anything. But she should look like Nilsine at this point. And I'm sorry the game takes so long to load. I've got the EMB and a whole pile of mods on this game. But anyway, let's see what she <laughs> turns out. Remember, she is only an ESP at this point. And there she is getting up off the... And there she is, Samantha. Now her hair, I have a mod in that changes vanilla hair, so that's why her hair looks as good as it does. Are Otherwise, you my it gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? No, I have not. Um, so anyway, her hair would look vanilla on a PS4 because they would not have that hair replacement mod for vanilla. NPCs but other than that that's her that's what she will look like on the PS4 just a vanilla character with vanilla hair and nothing more and when you upload you will upload nothing but the ESP no supporting mods or files no supporting custom scripts, no custom textures, no custom meshes, no custom anything. And what I do is I then move from the game folder, go down to Samantha, grab that ESP, move it into your PS4 versions, box it up and rename it PS4. The only thing in this zip so that when you load it in your game is going to be the ESP for Samantha nothing else so everything else is gone all supporting files and that's it that will load to a PS4 and will have a face alright thanks for watching Hope this helps somebody.